this next act, I feel like we should pass out 3D glasses for everybody. This is gonna come to you in 3D. Take a good look at his shoes. The one and only Dr. Michael Longley, ladies and gentlemen. A huge crowd favorite from last year. Yes, yeah, give it up. He is an ER doctor, so he's saving lives on a daily basis in the emergency room. His daughter is always a big hit with the crowd. His mother is probably his biggest fan, and she is in the room and looking gorgeous tonight, by the way. Absolutely stunning. She's a gorgeous lady. And he has got some special guests that are gonna take over this stage. They're gonna blow you away. Michael Longley. Well, it is good to be back here, ladies and gentlemen, for season two. I don't know about you, but I'm in a wonderful mood. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you heard, but um, two nights ago, Florida Hospital Tampa did their gala. It was a good, it was a great night, actually. Uh, and they actually had some entertainment. Not bad. Um, Harry Connick Jr. He was, it was, it was ridiculously fantastic. But uh, I do want to send out a thank you to him for coming in two days early to do the pre-show for our event tonight. So thank you, Harry Connick. I'm just going to get this thing settled here once and for all. But all kidding aside, um, the, uh, I'd like to offer this uh, first song for you. Uh, in the stylings of Harry Connick. He is one of my all-time piano heroes. Uh, and in the spirit of Operation Sunshine, this song comes to you in what I call 2% jazz, 98% funky stuff. <laughs>
to get back here and uh, thank you again. Um, a very, very good crowd tonight. Um, I have to send out a couple thank yous um, to my sponsors. First off, Tampa Bay Emergency Physicians, yeah. who, who I work for and who got me up on the stage. Uh, Phyllis and the Auxiliary for all of their generosity last year and this year again. I cannot thank you enough, so thank you for your generosity. And the folks at Stratford Court um, were amazingly generous and helped me uh, with some of those votes that you saw up there, um, all going towards a great cause. So it's great to be up here again. If any of you were here last year, you may recall I had what I would say an exceptional musician join me. And we did a, a song by The Verve called Bittersweet Symphony. I thought it would be rather silly to not have her come back and join me, and I hope you're okay with that. Please welcome back to the stage, Mrs. Zoe Hummel. So, I called Zoe, I had this idea. We were gonna, you know, rehearse and really make it big. Um, and, and I called her like two months ago and I said, Zoe, do you want to give it another go? Let's do this again. And she said, absolutely. When's the show? I said, Saturday, November 9th. And she said, oh, well, I'm, I'm free. I'm open. Uh, unfortunately, I'm on tour until Friday, November 8th. I said, okay, well, why don't we just do the show? We don't have to rehearse. No big deal. Um, we'll, we'll come up with something. So she said, okay, well, what do you do? I said, you know what, I trust you, just pick the song. Whatever you want to do, I just have one request. It needs to be from the 1980s. It needs to be in the style of hair metal, hardcore rock and roll. Something like Guns N' Roses. I mean, what more appropriate song could you do with a piano and violin? It seemed to make complete sense to me, right? So I don't know, actually, what, what you picked. Um, but I thought, perhaps, why don't you start it? And um, I'll jump in when I kind of get the gist, and then we'll, we'll do it. Um, but this one is for my daughter, Lelia. Thank you. 
see an ounce of pain. Her hair reminds me of a warm, safe place where, as a child, I'd hide. Pray for the thunder and the rain to quietly pass me by. Oh, 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 oh. Next year, we promise. If you've ever practiced emergency medicine, you know it is a team sport. From the folks out in the field, firefighting EMS, not a glamorous job, but completely and 100% essential. The nurses and the techs in the emergency room whose number one job is to catch our mistakes. The folks up in the C-suite, who I like to refer to as the suits, without them and their decisions, we don't have a place to practice and where do our patients go? Supplies and structure. The volunteers that bring each patient and their families their creature comforts completely essential to what we do every day. And how about the community outreach leadership that brings patients and doctors together and lets the community know all the awesome services that we provide. Mom, yeah, I'm talking about you. And then there are those 3 a.m. phone calls. Our colleagues in the specialties, internal medicine, cardiology, surgery, who get woken up when we call and we ask them to continue the care that we've started in the ER. It's a big team, it's a motley crew, but it's pretty cool when it all comes together. So if any of you are involved in any aspect of that health care, this song is for you. And to help me 
perform it, I've invited a team of my own. So, let us pray. Amen, brother. gentlemen please welcome to the stage from the heart of our community in Tarpon Springs the choir of the Mount Hermon Baptist Church Tell me where you 
my darkest hour, in my deepest despair, will you still care? Will you be there? In my trials and my tribulations, through our doubts and frustrations, in my violence. In my turbulence, through my fear, in my confessions, in my anguish, and my pain, through my joy and my sorrow, in the promise of another tomorrow. I'll never let you part, for you're always, always in my heart. Wow. On your feet, everybody. church 11 a.m. y'all be there right right 11 a.m. this choir sings every Sunday Mount Herman Baptist Church Tarpon Springs well done sir yeah that's all right that's all right well done don't tell the doctor he was great y'all made it for him y'all did it for him. can we pass a plate for goodness sakes pass a plate somebody man you are one smart man. You bring in some special guests like that. First of all, I see this guy, and he's that good looking, and he can play the piano like that, and he can sing like that, and oh yeah, he's a doctor. Oh, yeah. It makes me think, what the hell have I done with my life? Man. No wonder your mom is so beautiful and so proud. All right. Judges, what do you, what do you say? I don't know. Dr. Yeah. Dr. Graves, let's start with you. Doctor to doctor, let him know how he did. Well, Michael, after your performance last year, I didn't think you could top it, but you blew it away. My, my only criticism is I think you have Easy, one, I will bring that choir back in here. Well, I hold will, on a second. Okay. I, th I think there's one thing holding you back, and that's that darn job you have. So <laughs> we need to do something about that because if it wasn't for that, the sky's the limit for you. Great job. Loved it. Thank you. I tend to agree. <laughs> Dr. Longley, uh, Michael, may I call you Michael? Why are you still a doctor? You should be a rock star. He is a rock star. Oh my gosh, you brought in first your daughter. Who's got a daughter in the audience? Yes, raise your hand. Who, you ripped your hearts out with the daughter thing and we love that. You are my sunshine. We've all sang that to our daughters and our sons and our grandkids and everybody and then the choir i've always wanted to be in a gospel choir so thank you for bringing me that because i'll be there tomorrow morning 11, 11 a.m baby 11 a.m yeah give me a purple gown thing i'm there but it goes until one yeah. so be yeah. ready 11 to one it I'm goes on to it. one pack a lunch i know right where it is in tarpon yeah. springs see you there thank you it. that was fabulous and the violinist zoe 
Zoe brought me to tears. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Where is Zoe? Zoe is incredible. Zoe, come take a bow. We love you, Zoe, wherever you are. Thank you. Yeah, Axel Rose. You, I, oh, get out of here. All right, Charles, go ahead. I don't know if everybody in the audience knows what he's accomplished tonight, because if anybody doesn't know, that song is called Will You Be There by Michael Jackson. Do you know how difficult that is to do? <laughs> You're firing on all cylinders, dude. Bringing in the violinist. I would pay money for this at Kennedy Center in New York City. Yeah. It was that good. It was that good. Dr. Michael Longley, ladies and gentlemen, and Zoe, and the choir. Well done, brother. Well done.